Well, y'all, I haven't made a video in a few. Just been driving the car. I got an update for y'all on something else. But she kind of broke on me this morning. I can't show y'all because I'm hiding. But she had to be told by my dad this morning. I was on my way to work and my clutch pedal went straight to the floor. And as much as I hate to say it, after doing research, trying to figure out what it is, I don't know if it is just the clutch forks or the clutch fork, I'm sorry, or if it's just the throttle bearing. But I'm going to show y'all and maybe before, well, whenever y'all see this, because I'll try to get this out tonight, uh, maybe y'all will see it and maybe somebody will help. But um, I've been looking, I think it's either the clutch fork the pivot point broke or it busted through or maybe my throttle bearing's gone even though the throttle bearing wasn't making a noise which threw me off or maybe a clip just broke off of it or bent off of it or something like that but this is the noise that it does make if you see it right here it's it's like acting like it's not even attached anywhere and i can literally just pull it up and drop it so, I don't know. So, I didn't get the video out last night like I was hoping to. This is going to just be right after where I dropped off yesterday talking about what I thought was wrong with the car. Well, when we got to looking more, we actually found out that it... I, I told y'all that the clutch fork was just moving around. Well, my father actually took a light and looked down in there. And he saw something, and he reached, he somehow pulled it up enough, pulled it out, and it was actually the pivot point, the actual bolt for it, has snapped. Now, that means when after we pull the trans, and pull it all the way out, we're going to have to try and uh, use an easy out to get it out, or whatever it's called. Um, terrible on the whole lingo but I went ahead and ordered a new pivot point and new clutch fork arm clutch fork whatever you want to call it off of FT86 speed factory last night and probably gonna start tear down on Wednesday hopefully the parts will be almost here by then and I already missed driving the car. Don't get me wrong, I'm in the wife's fusion, but I already missed the car. And what really makes me mad about it all is it just, it happened out of nowhere. I mean, I was just driving normal. I wasn't hooning, I wasn't doing anything funny at all. I was just cruising along heading to work and it just pushed that clutch in and she, she snapped. You know, I did buy a warranty with the FRS, and I thought about just trying to turn it in on that, being like, hey, it's faulty part, you know, but it's either maybe us get about a week turnaround on it, or take it to a dealer, then have them keep it for like, my luck would be like six months, and honestly, it's like, I mainly bought the warranty just in case the motor went. As weird as that sounds, I just, I've heard the FH20 is very strong, but in the same sense I've heard that it's, I've heard with just boxer motors in general, if you just rev them all the way and you just beat the crap out of them, sometimes they'll last and then sometimes they'll just break. I mean, I've watched videos of people just drifting, 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 drag racing, doing all these different things with them, and nothing happens. You know, just occasional wear and tear, but... I just didn't want to take any chances. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's 3.55 in the morning as I'm trying to finish this up, but I won't get to put it all together and have it out to y'all by until this afternoon. So, I just wanted to try to finish it whenever I had time on the way to work this morning and 
just want to give y'all an even better update. Um, hopefully the new pivot point as well as the new clutch fork after I get them installed and get the you know the other one the other rest of the bolt the rest of the way out hopefully I won't have any other problems out of it for a while <sighs> try to get ahead and fall back behind but anyways I'm gonna get off here I'm gonna finish driving on the work y'all be careful y'all be safe y'all have any questions hit me up um I, I did go ahead I didn't really show y'all in the video at the beginning but I actually did a headlight build on the FRS um, I bought a stock set of headlights for about 150 and then I just threw some open them up painted them do some stuff on there it wasn't nothing expensive I just wanted to see how hard it was to be honest and uh, thought about doing it with the wind jets that I have at the house and if y'all want to see me do the wind jets and actually do a full detail on how to bake them open and stuff like that mount the halos mount the wires for them just tell me I mean I'd be down to do it not even just for the whole thing of it being an FRS but in general, just opening up headlights and stuff. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube. But as I've looked at it before, some people ain't as, um, what's the word? They're not very clear on all the steps. Some of them are, but... Oh, excuse me. What I learned is whenever you're doing it, you really don't have time to pull out your phone and take a video because I tried to just get them done pretty quick but if y'all want to see me just do that and actually give a decent review on how to do it I totally will but anyways I'm going to sign off here like comment subscribe anything helps I haven't been too active in the past few weeks and I'm sorry about that but I'll try to get a little bit better <laughs> Especially with me having about to pull the trans out. So, uh, I'll keep y'all updated on that. So, peace out.